Hey guys, it's Janice. Welcome back. Today I'm going to walk you through setting up the new mid-year digital planners that just launched on the website and Etsy, so let's jump right into it. What you'll need for installation is one, Safari, which I highly recommend over Chrome to minimize download errors. Two, your iPad files application, which is on your iPad by default and more specifically the downloads folder inside it. And three, a note-taking application of your choice, which in my case will be GoodNotes 5. Whether you shop on the website or Etsy, you're going to be given a download link after your purchase. If you're on Etsy, you'll find it under your order history. This is the link you'll get from the official website, and there's a big download button on the page, so start by tapping on that to download it. This file will automatically be saved to your downloads folder in your files app. So head to your downloads folder and pull up the file that was just downloaded. What you'll get is a PDF file. Since you get multiple options with your planner purchase, I created this digital library to help you easily navigate and download the files you need while saving space on your device. It's also a nice visual guide for the contents of your purchase. Down here, you'll have an option to download your stickers, download your planner, and download your extra planner covers. To download the planner, use your finger to tap on the corresponding button. You'll be brought to a page where you can choose between the hourly daily layout or the half hourly daily layout. And under each of these options, you can also pick from Monday start or Sunday start. I like to use the hourly layout and I prefer my weeks and months to start on Monday. So I'm gonna tap on Monday start. Once you've tapped on one of these, you'll be prompted to open a download link. So just tap open and you'll be led to the planner file in your browser. Up on the right hand corner, tap the share button and choose to share this to your note taking app, which in my case is GoodNotes 5. GoodNotes should pop up and you can then rename the file and import it. So now your planner is fully loaded into the app. I turned my iPad vertically because my planner is in portrait mode and this is how I like to use it. The next step is to double tap on the screen with your finger to make the planner fill up the screen. Swipe to get past the cover and you'll be exposed to the inside contents of the planner. To use the hyperlinks, make sure read-only mode is turned on and now you can jump from page to page easily. Just a quick overview of the hyperlinks. On the monthly calendar, you'll have links to the vision board and monthly notes. And on nearly every page in general, you'll have these hyperlinks which go to the monthly calendar, goals page, wellness page, finance page, your reflection page, and finally a link to the notepad. As for going into the weeks and days, on the monthly pages, there are hidden hyperlinks on the left lower corner of each week. Just tap that area and you'll be led to the classic weekly layout. Once you're on this page, you can also switch between two other layouts, which are the vertical hourly and box layouts by tapping on these buttons above. To get to the daily pages, just tap on the date on any of the weekly pages. Almost every weekly page except for the box layout will have a hyperlinked mini calendar that lets you jump around weeks and days quickly. And every daily page will also have the same feature. You can also tap on the dates directly on the monthly page. So now let's talk about importing stickers. Head back to your digital library PDF and tap on download stickers. You'll be able to choose from three file types, two of which are specifically for GoodNotes users, since GoodNotes has a more fleshed out system for digital stickers. So for the pre-cropped sticker book, just tap on the button again and you'll be prompted to download the file. If you're using Safari, you can easily access the file you downloaded by tapping on this arrow on the top right. Tap on the sticker book file and share it to GoodNotes like you did with the planner. Once you're in here, swipe away from the cover and you can then tap on the sticker style you want to use. So I want to use Everyday 2.0, so I'm going to tap on it and I'll be led to the labels. There's a couple more hyperlinks up here to get to the sticky notes, as well as the mood tracking system. To use these stickers, pick the lasso tool and circle around the sticker you want to use. Then tap once on the screen, tap copy, and then go to your planner to paste and resize the sticker. If you don't want to use the pre-cropped sticker book, there is also the GoodNotes Elements option in your digital library. Tap on it to download and go back to your downloads folder. This is a zip file that contains three separate GoodNotes Elements files. So first, tap on the zip file to unzip it and a folder will appear next to it. Tap into the folder. Now this is where some people may get confused. Even though it's a collection file, which is the GoodNotes Elements file type, it displays as a zip file, so you might think, well, oh, I need to unzip it again. But all you have to do is just tap on one of the Elements files and share it to GoodNotes, and it will immediately be imported as a new Elements collection. Another way to import your elements is to add a new collection in the Elements window, 
choose import from and tap on the elements file from your downloads folder. The last sticker file option is the individual PNG files. Tap on the button in the digital library to download it, then unzip it in the downloads folder. You'll have three separate folders inside which contain the individual sticker images. Select all, tap share, and save it to your photos. You can now use these in apps like Notability, NoteShelf, and Colonote by importing them as photos while you have a document open. So now let's switch up some covers. Head to the digital library and tap the download covers option. And you can pick from classic covers or some fun covers. I'm gonna go with the fun covers. Now these are PDF files like the planners, so just import them to GoodNotes like you did with the planner. In GoodNotes, swipe to the planner cover you wanna use. Then on the top right, tap the three dots and then tap copy page. Go to your planner document, Open the thumbnail view, tap on the original cover, tap add page after, and then tap paste page. You can then delete the original cover. Then do the same thing for the matching back cover. And that's all there is to changing the covers. Last but not least, I'm going to go over using the notepad. There's 12 different sections in your notepad and 18 different paper templates. You basically just build each section by duplicating and pasting the templates in a similar manner to the covers that we just went over. So if I want to use the dotted template, I'll head to the dotted template and copy it. Then open thumbnail view and paste that page between sections. So now I'm building section one of my notepad. To keep adding templates, you literally just duplicate the same paper template that just went into that section or pick another template to copy and paste. So I hope you found this setup guide useful. If you have any more questions, feel free to reach me via the contact form on the website and I'll try my best to help you. Thank you so much for your support and thank you for being excited about my products. I can't wait to see you guys use them.